Hey and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to absolutely know if a product sells well, and that's by tracking sales after they happen. Instead of using inaccurate or projected sales numbers, you have to know the demand is there. You have to know people are actually buying these products. So, as you may have noticed, the old ways of tracking product sales don't work anymore. Both the 999 cartridge and Keeper, the Chrome extension, don't consistently give you the sales data anymore. So how do you now track sales? As I said in the introduction, you have to know people are buying these products. This is a crucially important step in your product research and can be the difference between having a hot product that sells each and every day or one that looks good on projected numbers and you get stuck with inventory that won't sell and then you run into Amazon's long-term storage fees. For those of you who are familiar with how the old 999 cart trick and keeper used to work, let me show you what now happens, how to get around it and how to make sure you can still get access to this vital data. Whereas before, you used to be able to add 999 items to a cart and it will come up with a message saying only 336 items available. And then you could go do the same thing tomorrow and it would say 310 items available. And then you'd know that there'd been 26 items sold. Now there's two things that happen. Either Amazon do allow you to add 999 of those items into your cart, which I'll show you in a minute, or a lot of sellers are now able to limit how many they can sell, which I'll also show you as well. Here I've got examples of both, so let me show you. The first problem that people were encountering is, let me show you here. When you add 999 to the cart now, it will actually allow you to add 999 of these. And as you can see up here, there's now a thousand items in my cart. And the reason there's a thousand is because I already had one in here just to keep it in the cart for example purposes. But the second problem that we're having is if you go try adding 999 of these, you come up with this problem. The seller has limited it to only one per customer. So they're finding multiple different ways of not allowing you to access that sales data anymore. I've got to use a different product for this because of those previous restrictions, but was through Keeper. And even that now doesn't work, and I'll show you how. Whereas before, each one of these diamonds used to represent a sale. And so you could click on one of them, and here it would show the stock. And this obviously would reduce, if they made 10 sales a day, then it would reduce down and you would be able to track it that way as well. Each day that passed by, you could put those into a spreadsheet and track them. But now, as I show you, it doesn't matter where you click, it just always remains the same. It's four, four, it just remains the same. So it's not updating the stock level. So of course you can't track it. So now what, I hear you ask? Thankfully, there is a tool that can provide this data, and it's another Chrome extension by a company called Helium 10. It works very similar to how Keeper used to, in that it embeds a graph into the Amazon page, but the cool thing is it has this Inventory Levels tab. And once it's gone off, and it's pulled the most recent data, you'll see this stock level here. Now, just like you used to with the old 999 cart method, take this data here and go plug it into a sales tracking document. I've got one here that I just created myself. And as you can see here, each day I'm tracking it. And this 66 for the 5th of April today is this information here and this does change as you saw when it loaded up it pulls in the most recent data I recommend tracking it daily for at least seven to ten days because Amazon does sometimes move inventory around so you may see that this drops by 30 or 40 units and it's just Amazon taking it from one warehouse to another but then it will bump up again 
And as I said, you wanna be checking this daily and track it for about seven to 10 days. You wanna see that it's consistently selling every single day and this product is in demand and people are actually paying for it. This spreadsheet certainly isn't anything fancy, but I'll put a downloadable version of it in the description for you. And I'll also put a link to the Helium 10 Chrome extension in there for you as well. As entrepreneurs, we understand there's a certain element of risk, but we can make these calculated risks by doing as much research as possible with the data that's currently available. If you like this video and you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. I've got over 200 videos planned and they're coming soon. Thanks for watching.